So the U.S. Treasury has slapped sanctions on three prominent Lebanese business tycoons, Jihad al-Arab, Dani Khouri, and a lawmaker called Jamil Sayed. Uh, so the U.S. Treasury has accused them of corruption and of contributing uh, in a big way to the breakdown of the rule of law and the economic crisis that's going on in Lebanon right now. So the Treasury has said the three have each personally profited from the corruption and cronyism in Lebanon and enriching themselves at the expense of the Lebanese people. The statement continues, while the Lebanese people face daily struggles to access basic public goods, including medicine, electricity and food, during a historic and devastating economic crisis, members of the Lebanese political class and their cronies operate with, with impunity to enrich themselves and hide their wealth. So the Treasury said Al Arab, who is close to the Prime Minister, uh, who, the for, who is close to the former Prime Minister Saad Hariri, has used political connections and kickback payments to win important public contracts worth hundreds of millions of dollars. It said he overbilled the government in contracts, and despite winning a deal to address Beirut's 2016 garbage crisis, if you remember back in 2016, uh, there was trash all over the city of Beirut. There was no garbage collection, so uh, the city ended up giving uh, this guy Al Arab a contract to solve the, pr the the problem. He got hundreds of millions for that deal, and the problem wasn't solved. So the treasury uh, it continues. The treasury also said he won two government contracts worth 200 million after brokering a political deal in 2014 ahead of elections. Uh, so the second guy Khouri. It said uses his, his ties to already sanctioned politi politician ba uh, Gibran Basil to reap lucrative contracts while failing to meaningfully fulfill the terms of those contracts. So these guys are getting contracts to do things and they don't even do them, and they get a lot of they get hundreds of millions, which is, which is crazy. So it says Khouri and his company have been accused of dumping toxic waste and refu uh, and uh, garbage into the Mediterranean Sea, poisoning fisheries and polluting Lebanon's beaches. So uh, the third person, Sayyid, meanwhile, was accused of skirting banking regulations to move 120 million U.S. dollars offshore. So he's getting money again from Lebanese government institutions, and he's putting it into his bank in you know other countries. It says during the 2019 protests, when demonstrators protested outside his home, outside Sayyid's home, uh, he called on uh, his security and police to shoot and kill protesters. So the statement con continues, the United States is levying sanctions on these three individuals in solidarity with the Lebanese people who have long demanded accountability, transparency, and an end to endemic corruption. And this is according to Secretary of State Antony Blinken. So guys, it's crazy. The economic crisis in Lebanon is getting worse and worse. Uh, there's no fuel. Prices of basic goods are going up. So it's become really unbearable for people to live in Lebanon. And, you know, like I said before, Lebanon is such a weird country, the way the system is set up. The president has to be a Christian, the prime minister has to be a, uh, you know, a Sunni and, you know, and somebody, and, you know, somebody else has to be a Shia, I don't know exactly, foreign minister or something like that. So it's, it's a really messed up system. It's not based on who's good for the job, who's the best person for the job. So guys, like and subscribe. Thank you very much.